So up until now we've been using Notepad to write our code. It works, but it doesn't help us too much. I mean it doesn't highlight auto hotkey keywords and make suggestions on how to use AHK code. And that'll make our coding much quicker. So in this lesson I'm going to introduce the code editor VS Code. There's loads more code editors available. I've used Sublime Text in the past to write AHK scripts and that works well too. I believe historically CIT4 Auto Hotkey has been popular in the AHK community, but feel free to go with whatever you're comfortable with. In these lessons I'll be using VS Code because it's free and very quick to get up and running. It's also got a good pedigree. If we jump over to Wikipedia we see it's made by Microsoft and it's got a strong open source dimension to it. It's very popular amongst developers, with a recent survey ranking it the most popular developer tool, with about 50% of 90,000 respondents claiming to use it. So if we Google Visual Studio Code, usually the top link is the one we're after. So if you click on that, and that takes you to the home page. So that's code.visualstudio.com. And from there you can click on download for Windows and save it to your hard drive. Once it's downloaded, you can go ahead and install it. Accept the defaults here, install it in the default location. I'll create a desktop icon and leave the other default options and click on install. And now you can launch VS Code. When you open VS Code it can look quite intimidating, it's quite a departure from Notepad but just remember all its menus and panels are there to help you. Unfortunately it's quite easy to learn as you go along so you can jump right in and if you click next to the welcome screen, in fact you can close that and double click anywhere in here and it will create a new file. So I'm going to write some AHK code you're uh, familiar with. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. So incidentally that's control plus and that will zoom in and if you want to change back to the normal zero, um, size you press control zero on the numpad. So going back to say that size I'll write some code you're familiar with and um, message box hello there. Now at the moment, nothing too exciting. Um, we've got to save that, so let's save that as VS Code Test. Dot. You can call it anything you want, of course, but it must have the AHK extension. So, still not a lot happening, but if you go over to extensions, which is this icon over here, which looks like a lot kind of Tetris symbol and click on it and then search AHK it will bring up all auto hotkey related extensions now the one we want is this one by Kwaijan so if we click on that and install it it says this extension this extension is enabled globally which is what we want close it and now the keywords have been highlighted. So we've got code highlighting enabled. And also, if you notice there, when I hover over a keyword, it will give you a description of that command and some of the options available. Now, if I just comment that out, that's another thing that code editors are really good at. You can press control forward slash and um, it will comment it out. So what's it's inserted this semicolon, which means that this line of code won't run. And if we were to write the command again, IntelliSense is triggered so that means it will give you a code suggestion depending on the first few letters that you've written. Now the first one with this ABC on it is actually the generic VS Code code suggestion and not the one from the extension so you want to ignore that so if you press the down arrow and press tab that will select the second one which is the one we want message box and then it will also give you the options for that command and there's a different colour for each of the 
options. Most of them are in light blue, but text is in a darker blue, and that darker blue indicates that it's an essential parameter. Options is a number, and I've had a, I've, I know this because I've looked at the AHK documentation, which we've looked at before. So that gives you a really straightforward description of how to use a message box and all the parameters and what they do. So options is a number one to six, which dictates how many buttons the message box will have. So I'm just going to go for one. Then title is the name of the message box. I'm going to go for this is my message box. And you notice here that it's not quite perfect in that it's recognized these as keywords even though in this sense we're using it just as a normal string and text it's not actually used as a command so this is green and is which are clearly uh, keywords but we can ignore that it's still really useful so if we press tab it's going to move to the next command the next option which is the uh, critical option text um, and we'll put this is my message text and timeout is the amount of time the message box appears for. I want to put 17. Let's see. So if I press save now, um, we can actually run this script from by right clicking and selecting right run AHK script. And now the message box appears here and you can see how these all work. So one has now given us this option one has now given us more than just the OK and it's given us a cancel. This is my message box, here's the title, this is my message text, this is here, and then after 17 seconds, it's just disappeared.